It is so good to be recording again. Just got a new camera, arrived today. I have a theory that like when life is like going wrong, I'll just say this. My camera always breaks when I'm already having the worst possible week or a month or anything. It's just like, it just is always the icing on top. It's just like, boom, camera notices that you are going through something and it breaks on you. We have a lot of catching up to do. A state purchasing their first home. I'm currently in like a financial advising class <laughs> because I need to learn how to be wise with my money. And Lucas and I signed up. Speaking of, you already know that we got engaged. Because there's a lot of space and it's more quiet. We are touring. Our we are wedding venue. We're touring our wedding venue or yes, what we, we think are. what we think will be the venue. It's the only one we're seeing. And I prayed before we got here and they're playing worship music right across. And the venue right is now. right here. So it's a good sign. Let's go in. Let's do it. Let's see. Lucas and I have been here before. I've actually parked right here. Oh, you can see inside. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's stunning. Yeah, it is. It's wow. Amazing. Okay, that's a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, Lucas and I met in this area and then I've been here before. And then we actually stumbled upon the venue once. Yeah. And they were like, you can't come in, it's a private I event. I looked in the back to, and I saw the garden. I was like, gosh, this is the most beautiful garden I've ever seen. Yeah, he, you were freaking out about I the know. garden. I know, that's why we asked in the front if we could go see it. Yeah, and, and then said, they no. said no. And so when we, when I saw it as like one of the venues, I was like, oh, I've been here before. So I'm very nervous, but I'm excited. And we'll let you know what we think after, right? Yes, it's going to be perfect now. Yeah. I already know. You know? <laughs> okay. I think maybe this um, worship music is hypnotizing us. <laughs> okay. So, we love our venue. Do I call we? it. Yes. Well, we're doing it in New York City, which I think is perfect because that's where we met anyway. It is. And we met, we met like in this area, like we met seven like seven minutes from here. Yeah, we met like we Not can walk to where we met in in this area, in where the venue is. And Ichiran is here, and we're getting pizza. It feels right. It does. I'm glad you have a camera. Same. Now you can move. Now I can be myself. I'm nothing without a camera. That's not true. <laughs> So anyway, Damn, look at your ring, though. oh, I I know I have shown people, I have shown them. Nice I wish I got to wear it. Oh, really? No. You can wear it. You can wear it. Wear it on your pinky for a little. Look at it. I am ice. Oh, the camera gets it nice. That's beautiful. This is better than any iPhone camera has done. <laughs> okay, let's take it off. Why is it stuck on your no, face? It's not. You're oh, it's Christian.
said Jesus came into my life and I became brand new. Can you ask him what song this is? You need to ask him what song this is. But it's over the thing. Jump. Jump right here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> MTM. MTM. Isaiah. Yeah, MTM Isaiah. Oh, that's the name of the artist. MTM Isaiah. How do we know what song it is, though? I mean, he has a bunch of songs. If that song is good, I'm sure he'll have other good Dang, okay. <laughs> this is good. No, that was hard though. That's nice. <laughs> That's horrible. Play the pop in Horrible. Yeah, this is it. Damn, that's fire. Look at that. I love that. They're all holding hands. That's sick. Let's go MTM Isaiah. Bro, God is gonna bless him. No, this is actually good. This is good. This is good. Nine. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. It's good though. It's good though. I love how it's just like. I mean, I've been saying this from the jump that I just was not ready for it and not ready for like anything that has to do with marriage. Like I, I kept saying like I feel so unprepared and getting engaged really like threw me into the unpreparedness. It really, I didn't think it was going to change the dynamic of our relationship, but it really did. Like we just feel so much more like secure with each other and just like we feel even closer than we did before which is good that is the feeling that you should get when you're engaged to somebody but I was not prepared for any of this like it's just been like this past month yo guys I'm going through it I went through it in May and then right in the beginning of June I had such a beautiful happy moment and that beautiful happy moment, aka engagement, comes with so much. But this this month has been beautiful. Like I have not seen more of God's faithfulness. Like I've seen more of God's faithfulness more than ever before in this month. But getting engaged, like every step of the way has been hard. <laughs> from like picking a date to like even looking at venues and looking at like budget. I was literally complaining about how I couldn't pay rent last month. Like, how am I gonna have a wedding, seriously? So, it's just a lot. <laughs> um, but I love it and it is hardship that I'm willing to endure because I know the outcome, which is, you know, marriage. But sometimes there's hardships that we're not willing to endure because we don't know the outcome. And I think that is just the, the moral of this video is that there is hardships that we have to learn to endure. Like this month has been really good for me because there was hardships that I learned to endure before, you know? So for example, when you're giving birth, when you're giving birth, you're pushing even though it's hard because you know that there's gonna be a baby at the end of this. And I feel like sometimes because we don't know what's gonna come out of all of the hard work and like all the trials and tribulations that we're going through, we wanna stop pushing because we don't know like, is there even a baby that's gonna come out? You know what I mean? Like, what's the baby gonna look like? Also, when is this baby gonna come out? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like 
I I feel like I just have found myself in so many positions where I am going through a lot of hardships, especially this spring slash summer. Because and and I and I don't want to keep fighting because I don't know if there's a baby. Like, am I even pregnant? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is there a baby? But I know that God has told me there's a baby. I know I sound crazy right now. Wait, no, I'm not. Imagine if you guys thought this was like a pregnancy. <laughs> a pregnancy, um, <laughs> like subtle hints. No, there's no, it's just a metaphor, okay? But just keep pushing. Basically what I'm trying to say is keep pushing. Like I don't know anything at all ever. And I think that's like the premise of my whole channel and podcast and life and existence is that I just don't know anything at all. But I do know the guy that knows it. So I'm just following him. And so I know my last video I was just like going through some stuff. But <laughs> um, I am here to say that joy comes at the end of the hardship. You have to go through hardship to see God's faithfulness. Like, it, there's just some things that I just would not have been able to see God's faithfulness in if I hadn't gone through it, you know? So it's like, it's beautiful because once you see his hand in it, you're like, wow, his hand in this situation is more beautiful than how hard it was, you know? Like, it makes all the hardships and difficulties seem like nothing because when he shows up at the appointed time, it becomes beautiful. And that's what I'm learning right now in this like wedding planning process is that it's going to be hard, but I am going to endure it. <laughs> I am going to endure and I know that I will have a beautiful wedding and marriage and even though it's hard right now and everything seems impossible, it's going to be beautiful. And one thing that I was talking to Lucas about, I think earlier today, I was saying like, all this wedding planning stuff has seemed so impossible. I have not felt peace about anything like at all since we started planning. I like just like every time I start to think about it, I feel anxious. And he said, "Oh, then we haven't invited God enough. We haven't invited God into it enough." And I was like, "Yeah, you're right." So Make room for God in whatever you're going through. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm back with a new camera. <laughs>